Hey guys, this is Alicia with B2B and this is another favorites video. It's for the month of February. Um, that really is, seems like that's all the videos that I personally do. But it's like every time I try to record a different type of video, it always comes out just terrible. Trying, I really am trying, but um, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, nothing has really changed from last month to this month and the few things that have changed are in this video. So the first thing that I have is a foundation. Um, the foundation that I have is the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. I love this foundation. I have the color Q840, which is Almond Glow. And I got this at Walmart for about $9. I love this foundation. I've been wearing it every single day since I first got it. It's really lightweight. Um, I got this foundation along with the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation. I got them about a day apart and the Nearly Naked, I just feel like it kind of looks kind of pale on me. I got the darkest color that they had, which is caramel. That looked a little pale on me. Um, but other than that, it was all right. It was um, lightweight and everything. This is very lightweight compared to that one. Um, I wore them in comparison side by side on each side of my face this one it when i touched my face i didn't feel like i had makeup on versus the revlon nearly naked and i also like the glow this kind of gives my skin um it is a little bit darker than my skin not too much darker but i do like that um and it gives me like a really nice it gives me like a really nice glow which i love about this so this foundation i've been wearing every single day since i got it i absolutely love it if you have not tried it i highly highly suggest you've tried it i know everybody on youtube raves about this foundation so the next thing that i have are brushes and it's the brushes that i've been using in conjunction with this foundation and i've had these brushes forever um, but when i first started using it i just really didn't like it but i tried it again with this foundation and i really fell in love with it so there are these two brushes right here <clears throat> the dual fiber brushes and one is the mac 188 brush and the other one is the crown brush um, c406 the large dual face brush i got this at imax about two years ago um and i picked it up and i just didn't like it for some reason i don't know the same thing with this i got this i went to the mac store and i was interested in a dual fiber brush and the lady told me that i should get this which was very smart um she said she likes the smaller ones because it's easier to get um in the smaller corners of your face which is a really good idea so um just this last time like this last month something just made me pick up these brushes to use and i use them together i use this one on the larger parts of my face and then around my eyes my nose my mouth everything else like that where it's a little bit smaller and i don't want to mess up I use the smaller one so it gives me a nice even flawless look and I can also tell how it looks on um, how my foundation looks with those brushes it looks a lot more airbrushed and I really couldn't tell that when I first started using it okay so the next thing that I have is a concealer combination that I've been using so I was on the hunt for a concealer to use for underneath my eyebrows as more of a natural highlight every time like lately for the past couple months whenever I put a eyeshadow under my eyelids i don't are not under my eyelids but under my eyebrows i don't like how it looks it just it looks weird to me and like it throws off my whole eyeshadow look to me so tiana i noticed she just uses the concealer and she just used that as a highlight which a lot of other people do but i just kind of noticed her doing it so i was only hunt for a concealer that i could use under my eyes that would give me a nice natural looking highlight and I ran across the Glamouflage Concealer by Heart Candy. And this is the darkest one they had there. And this is the color tan. This stuff is ridiculously thick. It's so freaking thick. And not in a bad way. Just it's thick. And when I put it on, um, if you like thick concealer, I think you'll like this. And the only thing that I didn't like about it is that when I would use it for my eyebrows, it was so thick it was hard to blend out to me. So what I did was I thinned it out a little bit and I darkened it up because it was a little too pale with the Maybelline um, Fit Me Foundation Concealer in Cafe. So this stuff is just about gone. But what I do is um, if I want it a little on the lighter side, I'll put this first 
and then I'll put this on top. If I want it a little bit darker, I'll just do the reverse. And these two together give me the perfect shade and I think the highlight that it gives me is really, really pretty. I have it, um, that's what I have on under my eyebrows right now for a highlight. And it also thins it out. I, th I don't know if I said that yet, but um, the Fit Me concealer really thins out the Glamouflage, which really helps me smooth it out and blend it out a lot easier. And this stuff is heavy duty. Like, they said it covers tattoos. So, if you like heavy duty Dooley. If you like heavy duty concealers, then I highly suggest the Hard Candy Glamouflage. Okay, the next thing that I have is actually a lip, a lip combo, and I'm wearing it right now, and the light's kind of washing it out, I think. But um, I've been in love with this lip combination. It's the Maybelline New York Superstay 14 Hour Lipstick in the color Beige for Good. And it's just a nude color, but it's not a really pale nude. It's actually nice and dark. Um, really perfect for women of color, I think, who are having a hard time, you know, finding nudes. And I pair it with this Rimmel um, lip liner in the color Mocha. And it's just about gone. There's only a little bit in there, if you can see that. So yeah, so I pair these two together and I love the combination it gives me. Um, like I said, it's a more of a darker nude versus more of a pale nude. And it really does stay. So if you like lipsticks that stay on, you know, kind of like stain your lips, um, this is this bad boy right here is the truth. So all their all their 14 hour lipsticks I really, really like and I like the smell and yeah. Okay, so another lipstick that I have, I picked up one of the Maybelline Vivids. I saw them all the time and I was like, I'm not going to get this lipstick. I'm not going to get this lipstick. You know, I, I try not to feed into the hype. But I saw purple and I really, really loved it. I love the uh, purple lipstick. So I went ahead and I picked it up. And it's in the color Brazen Berry. And it looks like this. The sun is make is kind of... Um, washing it out a little bit. It's a little bit deeper than that, but I love this color. It's a really pretty purple color um, Not too light not too dark It is very pigmented, but for me personally my lips The top of the, my top lip is darker than my bottom lip and I have kind of like looks like permanent lip liner on my lip So it's pigmented in the fact that you can really really see it and it's really really pretty But you can still see the discoloration it under my lipstick not a lot, but just enough. So I do just me personally, I wore it with or without the concealer on my lips. So most of the time I put concealer on my lips just so the color, the true color of this can pop. But they're really pretty. I don't think I'm going to pick up any more just because of the colors. They, I think I have something similar and nothing really stood out to me. Okay, the last thing that I have is actually a eyebrow pencil. So I have been on the hunt for an eyebrow pencil, um, something that I just do my eyebrows really, really quick and really, really easy, and I had no kind of luck. I was just like flopping out because I used the Maybelline Definer Brow. Um, and I thought they were discontinued, but now I go to the stores and I see them all the time, So, but I just don't see my color, so I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, I have this Milani Easy Brow Pencil in my um, makeup box or whatever and I was like well let me just go ahead and try this and I love this pencil okay so first of all you get a lot of products so I want to say from about the tip where that applicator is on down to the spoolie that's what I'm hoping um this thing is so long and I hope it's not just fooling me but you do get a lot of product also this thing is very rich in color so what I liked about the um, Maybelline Define a Brow was that it wasn't that rich in color so you can kind of build upon it but you I me personally I ran out of product a lot faster because I was steadily going over and over and over my eyebrows this one it's very rich in color so you need a light hand with this but you're gonna a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to worry about using a whole lot of pencil um, the consistency of it it's not a like a sharpened pencil it's like a cream type um pencil it is retractable and it does come with this spoolie and the spoolie is so nice it's it's really the bristles are really stiff so if you want to groom your hairs or if you want to blend it out i don't think you can ever have too many spoolies 
so yes oh and this color is in dark brown so i've been loving this pencil so that's it that's all my favorites for the month of february i'm gonna try to get some different kind of videos out there because i don't want just want to do videos once a month so yeah but anyway any other questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them below in the info bar um anything that i kind of confuse you on leave that below in the info bar too i'll be happy to unconfuse you okay guys thanks for watching